Hello viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nobe. Uh, this time I'm not here to talk about uh, the permits and operation to do line or any other issue uh, that we've become accustomed to on this channel. Uh, I, I want us to discuss or I'm here to share my views on the ongoing case Osaka involving an Australian based lady who is of Zimbabwean origin. Her name is Susan Mutami. Uh, I think most of you uh, could have listened to her Twitter space where she had a tell it all on Twitter just last week. Uh, when I joined the space, uh, she, it had around 10,800 uh, listeners who were locked on listening to her live. Uh, but I, I'm not here to talk about the issues that she raised, which are very critical. I'm here to talk about the reaction that this has attracted, especially from Zimbabweans. Uh, I, I realize that the, the problem with Zimbabweans is that we have become so so political that there is nothing that happens uh, around us which we do not uh, look at via the political lens. To us, everything has become political, and that is because of our desperation to, to see the back of ZANU-PF or our desperation to keep ZANU-PF uh, in power. We have lost all sense of any other issue other than politics. So I'm going to talk here about the reaction, especially because, as I said, there are some of there are some people who have labelled her. There are some people who have insulted those that she mentioned, and there are others who have completely dismissed this whole issue. So what has come as a talking point is that some people believe that uh, Susan is being used by the opposition, especially Triple C, to paint debt on ZANU PF ahead of the 2023 elections. There are others who believe that she is being used by one ZANU PF faction over another there are many who believe that this is just a distraction uh, as people head into 2023 so that zanu pf can uh, rig the elections there are many others who have insulted and called a walker there are others again who have insulted those people that she mentioned and they are calling them uh, a rapist well here is my take uh regardless of uh whether the issues that she raised did really happen or did not I believe that it is unfair for us as a people who listened were not privy to any of this issue uh, or any of these issues or the episodes that she mentioned to then take sides because from experience as a journalist I can tell you that matters of rape or sexual abuse are not only emotive they are also controversial you need to be sure of the real circumstances before before you can take any side because uh, i have covered stories many stories of women who even men who were sexually abused and when they came out people began to insult them people began to poke holes into their theories and eventually it was proved that this actually really happened I've also covered issues of men being sec accused of sexual abuse and rape, some of them even to the extent of going to jail, only to be discovered at a later stage that the accuser actually framed the person or it was a false report. I think many of you already know about men who have spent years in prison for alleged rape when in actual fact uh, they didn't do it and at a later stage the accuser comes forward and says uh, I, uh, the, I, I laid a, a fake report and some years would have gone by and the men would have been ostracized by even their family. So my advice would be uh, it doesn't matter that Susan is a hooker as some of you have called her or a prostitute or somebody of loose morals or that she has taken time to talk about this. The issue is she is a woman in need of help. The kind of help she may need may be legal, it may be psychological, it may be mental, it may be medical, but the issue is she really needs help. And the fact that she told it on the mountain proves that she is a lady who needs help. Whether these things were made up or they were not made up, they actually happened. 
the bottom line is that she needs help. There are other, others who are questioning why she comes out at this particular time when people are heading for elections or they're preparing for elections. There is no perfect time for one to unleash something that is troubling them. There is no perfect time for one to speak up on an ordeal that they went through. The only perfect time is when they are ready to speak up about this or when they find a platform to speak up about this because uh, the mind has to be ready for the stigma that is going to follow, for the insults that are likely to follow, the impact of the issue, and the likely uh, reaction from those that have been accused. So it doesn't matter that she took time to, uh, to talk about this. The issue is she needed to unleash, she found a platform and she unleashed. Whether it is true or not, this is now a different issue. The issue is she has unleashed. Uh, and then on those who believe that she could be uh, a weapon being used uh, against Mnangakwa by either the opposition or by a, a fa another faction within her, the, 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 the ZANU PF party, it still doesn't matter as well. The fact that she could be in a position to be used about the ordeal that she went through uh, or allegedly went through on its own. Uh, is evidence that she is a lady who needs help because if one can be willing to be used around issues that happened to them, then it means that the need for help is even bigger. So let's not rush to punishing her. Let's not rush to insulting those that she mentioned because uh, we don't know the real issue behind uh, the episodes that she, won, uh, she, 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 she allegedly went through. I know that there are people within ZANU PF who would say, uh, why did she wait for this time? Why didn't she report it? But we know that some of the people that were accused there have, by their own admission, said that they are the army, they are the police, they are the state. So the only Thing she could have done was to use the only available platform to her which is social media but again I would one against us taking sides with her to insult those that she mentioned yes because of the politics and the polarization that is there I have seen some people dig up issues and say uh, Chamisa has also been accused of raping this is not an issue between Chamisa and uh, Zanu PF this is an issue around what allegedly happened to our sister Susan Mutami. Whether or not we agree with her, whether or not we believe she is a hooker, the issue is she needs help. She cried out for help. Let's render the help. It may be the help that eventually clears those that she mentioned. It may be the help that uh, prepares her psychologically to explain what happened or to stand up for what happened but she really needs help. And the fact that she may be a prostitute, a hooker, as some of you are saying, is neither here nor there. Because even somebody is a hooker, their norm must still be respected. You cannot go to a, a brothel and then force yourself on somebody just because they are a hooker and expect to get away with it. The law protects them. The law is there to make sure that their law is safeguarded and their rights are respected. So thank you very much. This is what I wanted to say about this issue. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. My name is Mkholi Sinube. I'll be back in different broadcasts. Thank you.